still dealing with the elderflower cordial look how beautiful and look guys I actually pressure canned it turned them a different color than these bottles so with these bottles what I did was I put the bottles into the oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes just to get them nice and hot and then I brought the elderflower mix up to a boil and then I bottled it into the very hot bottles um, and then I just let those sit and cool to room temperature overnight. This is like one of those rebel canning situations. It has uh, citric acid in it. It has a ton of sugar in it. So it's basically like elderflower um, simple syrup that I've canned and I should, you know what? I should have really looked up a recipe in retrospect now to make an elderflower syrup um, for long-term shelf storage because that's what I was attempting to do here so all of those have sealed and I just stacked them up for this video for this picture but I'm getting ready to remove the rims and wipe them down and make sure that they're super clean for storage and then all of these bottles are gonna go into my refrigerator because we're gonna be drinking on those for the next six months or so what I'll do is I'll add them to like our family's iced tea in the summertime or I'll add them to seltzer water and make like a spritzy drink um, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can use the elderflower cordial and then for the syrup and stuff or for the simple syrup that I've made right here and I also used organic cane sugar so that might be why the color is a little bit more golden if you're using like a white cane sugar um, then your elderflower cordial might be different I also squeezed the heck out of the flowers when I was straining them to make sure I got all that goodness so there is some sediment in the bottom a lot of pollen and goodness and just deliciousness so those are gonna be good for six weeks, but you know what? I honestly have had a bottle in my refrigerator since last season. I wouldn't drink it now that I have this. I'm gonna clean out the bottle that's in the fridge, and now we've got fresh, so we're gonna start using this with our drinks. I'm gonna get my ice maker out, make some ice so that we can have some yummy drinks later on, and then, yes, I'm gonna look this up and see what the method is, but I'm sure that they are fine. I'm sure I just overdid it, and we'll be able to use those you can use elderflower cordial as a to make cakes moist so after you've baked your cake after it's cooled you can like sprinkle the top or inject it or whatever with elderflower cordial like if you do a plain cake um and then you can ice it with your crumb coating and then your fondant or whatever and that's going to keep your cake nice and moist i actually did this last year for aaron's birthday i'll link that up above if i have that video if i even made a video for Aaron's birthday because it uh, just dawned on me. Tomorrow's his birthday and I did that last year and then here we are exactly one year later and I have fresh elderberry syrup and his birthday's tomorrow. So we're gonna get a cake made and yeah, that's our focus today. We're able to control the ingredients in our food when we make things from scratch and when we make things from home. So here I'm gonna make a ranch dip or a ranch dressing mix with a tablespoon of this veggie dip mix and a tablespoon of buttermilk 
ranch mix and I'm adding it to about two cups of yogurt. You can thin it out with a little bit of milk and I'm putting it on top of my taco bowl. This is rice cooked in bone broth with some elk meat, some fresh sauerkraut or some sauerkraut from the fridge uh, and some avocado and then the mixes that I got from Azure Standard. I will link those down in the video's description. some chicken salad that I am making up and I've just chopped up a bunch of celery real little added some pepper and then this is just canned chicken with some store-bought mayonnaise y'all I know it's probably full of junk uh, and then this is how we store our bread um, I store it in the plastic bag and serve up the sandwiches okay so I bake my bread in the bread machine in the summertime because that keeps the heat out of the house and then we can do things like chicken salad and peanut butter and jelly in the summers. And we also have some bag lettuce right there. I also have some tomatoes over there. I'm going to cut up and put on these. And Hagen just made some cucumbers. So that's what we're going to do for lunch today. Did you guys think, Mom? You're welcome. This is a large pork loin and I am just covering it in some Dijon mustard. I forgot to pat this side dry, but I did pat the other side dry and then you coat it in mustard. And the mix that I'm making for the top is uh, two teaspoons of salt. I'm also gonna do a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna mix all that up and sprinkle it all over the top and bottom. And then this is gonna sit in the refrigerator overnight because tomorrow is when I'm gonna slow cook it for Aaron's birthday so I'm just getting everything prepped up today for that event and we're gonna shred it up and have it on um, some hamburger buns and just have like a pork barbecue and then Aaron can just shred it up and eat it as is and uh, yeah it's gonna be really good it's gonna feed us for quite a few days this is a huge huge pork roast In the evenings, I go out and I tend to my garden. I also get out there early in the mornings, but I also come out at sunset and water them because we are in the high desert and this garden needs to be watered twice a day. So I water it about six o'clock in the morning and then typically I'm out here at 7.30 or 8 o'clock p.m. right at sunset and I give them their second water. And on this particular day, I'm gonna be planting some more tomato plants and I'm also gonna be uh, giving them a little bit of nourishment. crushing an egg at the top of each one of these. This is a downhill slope, so I'm gonna water in these holes and this is gonna carry the nutrients in through the root system to our tomato plants. And I saw, I watched Becky on Acre Homestead do this last year and I, I didn't do it when I planted these because I didn't have any eggs, but now I have some eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now. She had an issue where she didn't crack her eggs and 
an animal came along and dug them up. So I'm just trying to mash it in there real good. Then I'm gonna throw some water on here and I'm gonna cover them back up. That gives the tomato plants lots of nutrition, lots of uh, calcium. So just a good way to give them some good nutrition. Next up, we are gonna make a cake, and typically I would make this cake completely from scratch, but in one of my grocery hauls back from winter, I was able to get some organic cake mixes to use uh, on busy days like today. So today is Erin's birthday, and we are gonna get a cake made. We've got a lot of stuff going on, but this is gonna get whipped up real quick, and then it's gonna cool. I'm gonna use some elderflower cordial to flavor and moisten the cake once it is cooked. And then we are going to top it with a little bit of icing because we don't like a whole lot of icing, but we're gonna use some icing. And then when it's served up, we're gonna serve it up with some of those fresh blueberries that we recently got from the farmer's market. So while this does look like a simple and plain cake, it was really yummy and a special treat for all of us to celebrate Aaron on his special day. This day that we are so thankful for to have Aaron in our lives. We are so thankful for his birth many, 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 many years ago. So we are gonna celebrate it and do it up big. We may be getting older, but we are still young at heart. And today we are gonna do some special getting old stuff. So stay tuned till the end and you can see what we have in store. Here is some yarrow that I have been collecting from my yard. I've got a beautiful little yarrow patch, lots and lots of yarrow. So I've been picking it and drying it uh, in, you know, sections so that we can have it for tea. And this was a buck that I saw near our house. So I was excited about that. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this frosting. This is frosting that I've had in the freezer since Riker's birthday. And it's still a little bit cold, so I'm having trouble using it. But I don't need a lot of it because we're just using it to secure this cake to the top of this pie plate and we're just going to use it to hold all the cakes together. I use my Pyrex dishes to make a tower cake. This is that elderflower I was talking to you about so I just sprinkle it on top and it keeps the cake moist while adding a delicious floral flavor to the cake. I really highly recommend getting some elderflowers and making this cordial so that you can use it in your desserts. It's also really yummy drizzled on top of ice cream. I will link the recipe in this video right here as well as it will be linked in this description below and if I have I will also link Aaron's birthday cake from last year I'll share that video with you guys here and then this is the pork that's been slow cooking all day it's just going to fall apart when I start to shred it up and we also took a little journey outside because there were some turkeys in the yard look at this mama turkey with her little baby turkeys so cute and it is just amazing the wildlife that we encounter here in these Cascade Mountains in the high desert of Southern Oregon. It's so cool to see all of these creatures. Oh, he's doing it, right? Watch out. Look, yuck it up. Yuck it up, guys. Yuck it up. Oh, you, you say I'm not trash? Yeah, when you're in a trash. 
Brody, stop sticking it up. You also have one. <laughs> Was that mud, Bodhi? Stop, Bodhi! Am I four, you think? Yeah, for sure. All right, Bodhi. Good job, Dad. That, that was great. Job. That was great. That was so great. <laughs> all right, Kay, your turn. It's really not bad once you get into it. Oh, no, that's not bad at all. Yeah, Dad. Really? That. You want me to do three? Well, you got to get in there first. I know. What do you mean, get in there first? You, well, can, you, to... you can do Riker. My yeah. body body you body have to do for a minute. <laughs> yes. I should. I want to do four minutes for me. <laughs> I'm going to do five minutes. You're not doing it, guys. <laughs> Mom, you're you're fine. You're tough. I'm voting. Uh, 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 of course. Yeah. Mom's going to have another baby in there? Yeah. <laughs> You okay, Mom? If Mom has another baby in there, we are in trouble. Thanks. This would probably be a good birth pool if it wasn't for all the plastic and Hey, where were you born? Trash. I was born in a trash can. It was awesome. Hey. You, are you okay, Mom? Yeah. It's, great. it's actually, it's fine. It has to put milk. my chest in the water. But you will have to drink cold milk. Yeah. Why oh, do you have to drink cold milk? Okay. Are you videotaping? I don't want to have vasospasms, which are very I don't, painful. I don't know what that, that is. I guess I should probably have my arms in here, too. But yes, mine, yes. Just, but my 52, 53, 54, 55. You're too 55. scared. Woo! He's doing Ball, it. Dunk, dunk. No, I'm not dunking. Yeah, you want dunk, dunk. Dunk and dunk. I think I'll be able to get in more and more every time, but. Oh yeah, I think I could go five minutes next time with cold. Once you get used to the cold, Come on. it's like no big deal. Especially in the morning. How much? In the morning, it's just gonna jolt me, make me feel better. It's gonna energize me. Okay. Right, mm. Yes, it's my turn. Right. One. Down to your nose. <laughs> That's really impressive, Riker. That is awesome. Oh, well, I That's just me. Go under. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Oh, that wow. is my turn. It's so cold. It's fine, Dorsey. I'm so good. 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 I'm so